Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, EJW, and we're back with another Twisty Crime episode. An alligator with an object in, in his mouth. As the, as the detective got closer, they fired one round uh, to the alligator. The alligator dropped the object that he had in his mouth. Yeah, pull him out a little bit. We are sorry that it had to end this way. This is the story of Pashon Jeffrey, age 20, a beautiful young mother who was stabbed over 100 times by her crazy boyfriend, Thomas Mosley, age 21, and also the story of Passion's two-year-old son, Talon Mosley, who was thrown into the lake by Thomas Mosley, his father, and the young child was later... F so this fool killed the mother and threw the baby in the lake and the, ba the baby was in an alligator's mouth? Is what they're telling us right now? Found in the mouth of an alligator dead. Yes. All this happened due to a result of some domestic issues that happened just hours after Passion hosted a big 21st day party for her boyfriend Thomas. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. A tragic end to the search for a missing boy in St. Petersburg. Police tell us the body of two-year-old Taylin Mosley was found this afternoon in the mouth of an alligator. This story will be taking us to the city of St. Petersburg, Florida. St. Petersburg known as the Sunshine City that enjoys an average of 361 days of clear sky. That is one pretty place. If you enjoy water, that is one pretty place. Tampa is right across the bridge. It is, a, man, I loved it. I loved it. Guys per year. Combine that with 244 miles of glimmering coastline along Tampa Bay, the Gulf of Mexico, Boca Ciega Bay, and the intracoastal waterways, and you have one hot beach destination. St. Petersburg is home to award winning beaches, the world renowned Salvador Dali Museum top-rated restaurants, and beautiful Fort D. Soto Park. Pashon Jeffrey, aged 20, was a native of St. Petersburg, Florida, and she attended Benito Middle School, Boca Ciega High School, and Northeast High, where she was an honor student. She worked at a St. Petersburg CVS according to her family. She was described as a hard-working, friendly, loving, entertaining, and fun person. Uh oh you gotta get it. Get it, girl. <laughs> I guess you got a co doing it. <laughs> Pashon was in a relationship with a young man named Thomas Mosley, who was also the father of Pashon's child, Talon Mosley. Talon was a two-year-old boy who was described as happy, energetic, lovely, and sweet. Talon is a beautiful little boy. And he's really loving and caring and He's just very sweet, and he'll smile and laugh at anybody. Thomas Mosley, who does have a bit of juvenile records, had been in a relationship with Pashon for a bit. On this particular day, Pashon had invited friends and family for the birthday of Thomas, which was held in her new apartment. She had moved there less than a month allowing Thomas to live there with him barely less than two weeks before this ugly incident. After the whole celebration, guests left around 5.15 so they moved in together, and it hadn't been two weeks before this incident happened. PM, leaving the toddler and his parents in the home. Some hours later, neighbors could hear noise coming from the apartment, but no one really took it serious, so the police wasn't called. Thomas Mosley later left the apartment around 8.42 PM that evening and traveled through the Lake Majority area, south of downtown St. Petersburg, heading to his mother's home. He arrived at his mother's house which is about 10 blocks from the lake just past 9 p.m. with severe lacerations to his hands and arms. He would later be admitted to St. Anthony's Hospital due to injuries on his arms and hands which were consistent with injuries caused by slippage during a knife attack. Pashon's body won't be discovered until around 2.30 p.m. the next day, after her family asked department staff to do a welfare check on her after they spotted blood on the sidewalk. The young mother was found in her bathroom floor with over 100 stab wounds. It was a very violent- God, dog. He stabbed her 100 times, 
And he seemed like he stabbed himself 50 because he all in the hospital himself. He just was going, he had much, so much rage in him. I wonder what this was about. Crime scene. Investigators found a bloody fingerprint on a bottle of cleaning solution, which matched Thomas's fingerprint and was intentionally stashed under the bed. So he tried to clean up the mess, which automatically gets out uh, pleading insanity. Bed. Police issued an amber alert for the toddler, Talon, and deployed drones and a helicopter to locate him. A bloodhound from the K-9 detachment of the Manatee County Sheriff's Office was dispatched to the scene. This is two-year-old Taylin Mosley. The boy St. Pete police believe could be in danger. We have our county, state, and federal partners that are assisting because we want to find Tyler. That, that, that's our main goal right now. Mosley was last seen with his mother, 20-year-old Passion Jeffrey, around 5 Wednesday evening outside their home at Lincoln Shores Apartments in St. Pete. According to police, neighbors heard a commotion that night around 9. A very violent homicide scene within the apartment. And, but we could not find the two-year-old. It wasn't until 2.30 Thursday afternoon that an apartment employee found the... So he's in the hospital right now. She's dead, and they can't find the baby. No one knows where the baby is, but the mother, they do know that the mother is dead at this point. 20-year-old dead and the toddler gone. It's really sad about the missing kid. I didn't know it was in my neighborhood, and I was really shocked when I pulled up and saw it that was in my neighborhood. It's usually a very peaceful neighborhood. Now the search is on from above and ground level. We have a dog coming in to try to find, and we're also going to put a drone up to do a grid search of the back area. With a nearly 24 hour time gap between the last time anyone saw Mosley and him being reported missing, police are now asking for your help. So he could be anywhere. Her family was out there pleading with the public to help in locating the missing child. We just want to say um, that Taylor is a beautiful little boy. And he's really loving and caring. And he's just very sweet. And he'll smile and laugh at anybody. And there's Amber Alerts everywhere. everywhere. And you guys have seen them. I have people all over the country calling me about the Amber Alerts. So I'm asking everybody, if anybody, somebody saw something. Okay? Please speak up. So if you know something, say something. Help us get Taylor back. Taylor lost his mommy. So he needs his family right now. So we ask for your help um, in finding him. Some so at this point, they're not even thinking that the baby could be dead or or have anyone asked the father, where is the child at this point? Somebody knows. Please Somebody knows something. Please, please speak up. Somebody knows something. Somebody saw something. And Passion just um, Taylor a beautiful mom. love to uh, be with his family. So we miss him, Taylor. We call him Tay Tay. Thomas was later identified as a person of interest as police searched for Talon because he was not cooperating with law enforcement while in the hospital. That's he right. was sent to jail after treatment in the hospital. Here is the video of him arriving in jail. So at this point, they don't even know this food and did this to this baby. They just got him, what are they charging him with now? I guess the murder of her. That's why they taking him to jail. The investigation would lead police on Friday to search for Talon at Dell Holmes Park. Someone reported seeing something in the mouth of an alligator thereby drawing the attention of the cops to it. Officers fired a single round at the reptile and it dropped the object. Officers were able to retrieve what they discovered to be Talon's body, which was still intact. A days long search for two year old Talon Mosley ended in tragedy yesterday when the toddler was found dead in the jaws of an alligator. Crimes. I pray that this baby was not alive when the alligator had him in his mouth. That is a horrible death for anybody, let alone a child. Tape surrounds Dell Holmes Park after investigators say their search for a missing two year old ended on Friday night 
Investigators discovered Taylin Mosley deceased in Lake Magori. Detectives were searching the body of water Friday afternoon. Spotted an alligator with an object in, in his mouth. As the, as the detective got closer, they fired one round uh, to the alligator. The alligator dropped the object that he had in his mouth. Police say the toddler's mother, Passion Jeffrey, was discovered dead inside her apartment on Thursday afternoon around 2.30. The 20-year-old had multiple stab wounds. For the past two days, police searched the area around Lincoln Shores apartments. An Amber Alert was issued for the missing boy. Friday, detectives discovered his body in a lake nearly 20 minutes from the apartment complex. St. Pete police say the child's father, Thomas Mosley, remains hospitalized after going to the hospital with numerous cuts on his hands and arms. He faces two charges of first degree murder. Uh, when the detectives went out and spoke to him, uh, spoke to him. So they have charged him with two counts of murder. So are they saying that he killed them before or after he threw him in the lake? His own child. They should have sentenced him already. Him, he didn't want to talk to the detectives, and then later on he asked for an attorney. Anthony Holloway, the chief of the police department, stated in the release statement that, It is with great sadness that I have to inform everyone that we discovered the body of Talon Mosley. It is with great sadness I have to inform you here today that Talon body has been found. It is my condolences going out to the family and to his loved ones. We are sorry that it had to end this way. The suspect Thomas Mosley was charged with two counts and booked into Pinellas County Jail and is being held without bond. He was appointed a public defender during a hearing over the telephone. I have you here for two counts of They looked like they didn't want to represent him. You can, how could you, like, pleading guilty or not guilty shouldn't even be an option for him. You're gonna kill this baby and this girl, killed his own baby and threw it in the alligator's mouth. Or threw him in the lake and the alligator happened to get him. First degree murder, sir. One count each for the murder of 20 year old Passion Jeffrey and their two year old son, Talon Mosley, who were last seen at their Lincoln Shores apartment. This should be a capital Pete murder case. Of Wednesday, more details emerged about how things played out that day. It is alleged that the victim's family visited the victim's home at approximately 4 30 for the defendant's birthday party. The victim's family left around. 515 and the only person remaining in the residence were the victim and their two-year-old son. According to the complaint, phone records showed Passion's phone leaving the area of her apartment around 842 p.m. and heading to Lake Magori, where Talon's body would later be found on Friday before Mosley showed up at his mother's house with lacerations to his arms and checked himself into St. Anthony's. After Passion's family grew suspicious, called maintenance to go inside. We learned that they walked into a gruesome scene, passion stabbed more than 100 times, and evidence 100. linking Mosley to her murder. A bloody fingerprint um, on a cleaning bottle, which has been initially placed under a bed in the crime scene, was identified to the defendant. A bloody shoe print with a Gucci emblem was located uh, on the bathroom floor where the, where the victim was found. The defendant's brother stated the defendant was wearing um, a pair of Gucci slides when he arrived at his mother's home. Meanwhile, a memorial continues to grow for the... So the brother told on his ass too. Everybody telling. Mama, aunties, cousins, anybody that knew something, they telling. He killed this baby and this girl. Take his ass to jail. The mother and son outside of that apartment, they were said to have a wonderful relationship. She loved that baby. That baby loves her. Pashon Jeffrey and her son were no, laid to rest in a private funeral service. Pashon was buried in a cream colored casket. Her son, Talon, was lying in a separate blue casket with a cartoon theme. There was the emotion in there palpable, and family and friends, they wore pink and blue to honor the mother and son who they said were inseparable. Flowers covered Passion's white casket with her son's Toy Story casket right beside hers. Family and friends saying they were rarely apart and shared a special vibe. That's got to be a sad funeral right there. Mother and the child laid to rest on the same day. Just giving them a moment of silence. It just shattered me because she didn't deserve this. She loved her little boy so much.
Passion's family says the 20-year-old mother was determined to give her son the best life possible. We hope Passion and Thomas gets the justice they deserve very soon. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Passion Jeffrey. May Passion... Now, what are your thoughts on this type of cases? That, is it a capital murder case or how do you feel he should be punished? Leave it down in my comments and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Stutter Pot TV. Sean and Talon's memory be a blessing for their family and for all who knew them, and may their life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.